Volcano Island is less than 600 meters south of Lipari. Only a shallow channel separates them, but they seem worlds apart, the distance between active and dormant volcanism. Volcano has a harsh, desolate look. The ground looks like stone, and the stone is the color of fire. square kilometer surface, Volcano demonstrates in every possible manner that its volcanism is very much alive. This becomes all the more obvious as, clouded in the odor of sulfur, one approaches the great crater, the Fossa. The last eruption here dates back to 1888, not that long ago, and volcanologists predict that the crater may enter a new cycle of activity in the very near future. travel to the northern tip of the archipelago to the most famous of the Aeolian Islands to sense, if not the danger, at least the power of the only constantly eruptive volcano in Europe. The color of the rocks and beaches on Stromboli immediately identify it as volcanic. In the northeast part of the island, the magnificent and massive Strombolicchio overlooked the Mediterranean from a height of 43 meters. It's a neck, a remnant of one of the volcano's parasitic cones. Mount Stromboli is a model volcano. Its perfect cone shape is what earned it its name, Stromboli being derived from an ancient word meaning a child's top. It's hard to resist the temptation of climbing up to the crater's rim, even though the trail is long and rocky. A climb to an altitude of 924 meters. But this isn't the volcano's full height. Its slopes extend 2,000 meters further below sea level. Once at the crater's rim, however, we miss the show. Today, the wind-driven fog and smoke make it impossible to see the flying cinders and ribbons of lava spewing from the volcano's five mouths. There's still the sound of the explosions, of lava beating against the volcano walls, and the resplendent dawn over the Aeolians. About 100 kilometers to the south is an extraordinary land, Sicily. The crossroads of the Mediterranean, the center of antiquity, Trinacria, the land of three points. This is a land where the world's greatest civilizations have left their mark, mixing heroes and gods, confusing truth and legend. <laughs> 